Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus. Bless my friend. Bless him. Let him know how much you love him, God. I, I thank you in Jesus' name. And today I just want to share just a very beautiful video of a uh, video of Todd White where he went out to evangelize and share messages to people and he got in contact with this young man who was an artist who had lots of artworks on his body which in contrary to what we believe as Christians represented satanist he was represented as a satanist having all sort of drawings on his body and it was a beautiful it was a very beautiful and captivating scene where he thought white had to pray for him and you could see his soul desired for for the lord his soul desired to know i mean looking at this scene that you're about to watch now you would see total submission you see that this word is already in your heart it's already in your heart and once he heard of it once he came in contact he it was it was just a blissful experience that he just submitted and he had to listen he had to give in to prayer he had to humble himself to listen to these words from todd white and it, today that's just basically what i want to share and uh, i believe that you're going to be blessed i believe that it's going to it's going to inspire you it's going to motivate you it's going to drive you to get out there and in your own power in your own might in your own capacity to do your own quarter in, to evangelize God's word and to share the word to do your own quarter in bringing people back into the fold of Christ so at the end of the day so at the end of the day we we, we, we have a lot of people making heaven who stand in the end and to meet the judge and would be accepted into the fold of Christ so accepted into heaven because that's the goal as people as we are our goal as Christians I don't know if uh, don't forget this our goal as Christians is that we know that on the last day that Jesus is to be the final judge he is to be the final judge on the last day on the last day you're not going to see a stranger you're not going to see a, a, a flame of fire the Bible makes us know that it's not going to be a flame of fire and God has revealed himself through his son Jesus Christ that on the last day he's going to be the judge who is going to be the judge of everyone he's going to start to be the last the last man to judge all of us and it's his desire in the last chapter of Matthew and the last verse it says that we should get out there, get the new good news of the Lord Jesus out there, that everyone would receive. He doesn't want to leave anyone behind. He says until everyone receives this message, until the word gets to every nooks and corners of the earth and everyone receives, that's when he's going to come. So there's a lot of work to be done. There's a lot of work to do to get the message out there so that at the very end when people stand to face the Messiah, it's going to be good news all around no one is going to be left behind so that's the goal that's the message that's the good news but today i just want you guys to just take a look at this video and uh, stay blessed hey let me see your tats you like art yeah, 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 you're an artist. So real creative. Have you ever have you ever desired have you ever desired to do uh, animation? Animation. Yeah. So I feel in my heart that what I heard was that you're going to end up in a career to where you're going to help to design animation. Something that the world has never seen. You have that grace upon you, man. My parents gave me up when I was little. So started drugs at 11. Fully hooked, 11 years old. Brian from Corn. Corn. Hooked on drugs from little kid. Same. And I didn't realize the value of life. Like when you were born. You were born into a family that didn't know how valuable you were. Same as me. 
My mom and dad didn't know the value of life. Same stuff. Brian, the same stuff. A lot of people, the same stuff. So I became suicidal. I wanted to put a gun in my head and be done with my life. So seven and a half years later, I went out and I ripped off a drug dealer. He was in my car. I told him I was a cop. Get out of the car, put your hands on the hood. And when I did, he opened up. A full clip of a 9mm. I heard a voice when the bullets came out. The voice said, I took those bullets for you. Are you ready to live for me? I've done the Ouija boards, the tarot cards. I've done it all. I couldn't find peace. That night, I heard that voice. I got home, I thought I was, I thought I was bleeding. There were no bullets in my car from three meters. And the voice wouldn't go away. I went away to a rehab, another rehab. And I was there for two months. And I had three nights in a row where I met Jesus. I didn't meet church. I didn't meet religion. I met him. He told me he was the voice. He rocked my life. He changed my everything. He made me a dad. And I came home. And my girlfriend met Jesus when I went away. And we got married four days later. And that was 14 years ago. Man, I'm telling you, he loves you. I love you. I love you so much, bro. Can I pray for you? Yeah, come. Come here. Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus. Bless my friend. Bless him. Let him know how much you love him, God. I, I thank you in Jesus' name. Show him who he is, God. In Jesus' name. Let him be that animator. Let him make those cartoons. In Jesus' name.